Okay, today we're talking about replacing blower bearings. Okay, so on this train air handler, you see circled in red here, this bearing failed and the shaft continued to spin. So the shaft will have to be replaced as well. Unfortunately, these bearings are spot welded to the bracket and the bracket is spot welded to the blower housing. So what I'll have to do is cut out these old brackets on both sides and attach new universal brackets and bearings. So I turned off the power, removed blower housing from the air handler. Now we need to loosen that set screw on both sides. And that set screw you see in there, that'll free the shaft from the blower wheel and the bearings. So I loosened all of them. Now we'll go ahead and remove the shaft. And I'm going to do that by simply tapping it the rest of the way through with a rod and a hammer until it completely comes out the other side. So here's the installation instructions for these replacement uh, bearings and brackets. They have multiple mounting holes, so depending on what size blower housing you work on, you can cut off the excess. Be sure you center it inside the Venturi, because you don't want it to be crooked or lopsided, etc. Here's what the individual parts look like. Your left and right hand side bracket. Your new bearings are already included in the brackets. The new shaft, in this case, it's a one inch diameter shaft. You'll have to grind the flat spots on the shaft where the set screws will, at will, will attach. And you can always cut the shaft shorter if it's too long. This kit also comes with the, uh, the, the fiber washers and the locking collars with set screws. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and remove the dirty blower wheel from the blower housing. We'll clean the housing, clean the blower wheel, and then cut off those old bearing brackets. Removing this plate, which is held in place by four uh, hex head screws. The blower wheel lifts out. Be gentle with it. You don't want to damage the blower wheel. Inspect it for cracks or bent fins, etc. Blower wheel still looks good. We'll go ahead and clean all these parts now. Just using degreaser and water, and then I'll dry them off. Now you like to use an old chip brush or an old paint brush, nylon bristle scrub brush, etc. Be careful when you're cleaning blower wheels. They have those little clip-on weights. Uh, they come that way from the factory so the blower wheel is properly balanced. Don't take those off. Don't lose them. Now wearing proper PPE, I'm going to go ahead and cut off those old bearing brackets on both sides. Now the parts are clean and dry, 
I'll drop the blower wheel, gently black in the housing, reinstall this plate. Then we'll go ahead and align our new bearing brackets properly and install those. So I'm just lining everything up, taking measurements all the way around, making sure everything looks even and centered. Once the blower wheel looks centered in there, I'll attach these on one side, then I'll flip the housing over and do the same on the other side. So I'm looking at the spacing, the gap, etc. You simply install it with the supplied hardware. I used a sharpie and marked where each of the set screws is going to roughly be contacting the shaft on both sides of the shaft. I then simply used my grinder to grind these flat spots for those set screws. So once you get the blower wheel aligned and centered inside the housing, go ahead and tighten the set screws on either side that you see here. So it's nicely centered and aligned in the housing. Now we'll go ahead and install the fiber washers and the set screws on the outside here. On these retaining rings or these bushings with the set screw. Remember you don't want too much slop, but you don't want too much too tight either. So spin it by hand. It should spin freely and nicely. It shouldn't bind up. It shouldn't hit anything. We attached the pulley and I went ahead and oiled the bearings and we'll get ready to reinstall it back in the air handler. So I slid it back in the air handler. Just tighten these wing nuts down in this case and make our two wire connections. It's a 120 volt motor, single speed, just black hot wire and a white neutral wire and of course your green ground wire and install the belt. Everything runs good, spinning the proper direction. Woo! Good to go. Please like, share, subscribe, leave me a comment, and thanks for watching.